Hey, how's it going? Today is the uh, 31st of January, Wednesday, and we are taking a look at the market, what kind of opportunities are available out there. So, if uh, <laughs> we were taking a look at cyber security in previous video as well as how cover a number of opportunities that would be uh, small holders, farmers, perhaps uh, opportunities there when it comes to establishing businesses, and perhaps there might be some opportunities there. So, I have a chart here as well as UK and South Africa have some of the partnerships as well as uh, within that video we have highlighted number of funds I have taken a look at those as well as uh, in pre previous video I was taking a look at cyber security within this video uh, it would be unique videos right every video would be slightly different I guess a uh, unique perspective when it comes to operating a business and what kind of information might be important I was trying to look at uh, financial opportunities uh, I was taking a look at security and uh, partnerships, uh, let's uh, take a look at perhaps human resources, why else that might be important for many people, as well as if we're taking a look at cyber security. If the problem is that, it's been highlighted by UK, let's source the one professional from perhaps places like South Korea, can that professional solve this problem? Great, perfect, why not? <laughs> uh, a professional will come in, solve the problem, and if he, he would like to stay there for in UK, chill for a bit, if not, he can go, go back, that's it. Everyone would have a little bit of fun. It would be great. Within this video, let's take a look at UK and South uh, Korean extends youth mobility scheme for young people. That's right, and it's a pretender. Coming into this, I have reached out to a number of uh, travel advice organizations, uh, mainly in Asian countries. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't really matter, but it's just something that happened, right? <laughs> Five travel advice organizations uh, that I have a chart here. So one of them, I think it was South Korea, but either way, let's try to understand this uh, press release that was uh, completed the uh, 23rd. Uh, so would that be last week or recently? And I think it would be uh, perhaps 1,000 people that might be allowed to come to UK, perhaps. The expansion takes effect later this month with increased annual qu quota, increased age range, and the removal of the ballot process. Okay, so it might be a lot easier to do, as well as increased number of people that are allowed to create. Perhaps if we can take part, giving opportunities for those people while they in the UK, perhaps there might be some great uh, experiences for everyone, right? Even yesterday, I have a chart a number of competitions when it comes to the semiconductor production. One of the best people when it comes to sourcing know how they can be from South Korea, right? So, even that's something perhaps we can take a look at. But either way, either way, that would be just an example of business opportunities. Cybersecurity, semiconductors, uh, we were taking a look at uh, food technology uh, and how we can potentially de develop that technology and sell it to some of the countries that South Africa perhaps might be interested in purchasing that technology or energy security, right? Even that, so five opportunities that I have covered, right? So to do that, we might need some people. <laughs> perhaps not, we might need some. If anything, that's right, I understand it's important, right? More young Brits and South Korean nationals will be able to experience life-changing opportunities in each other's countries that Thanks for expansion of shared visa scheme between uh, UK and South Korea. I would love to go there, by the way. Uh, it's up there uh, at, a, at the left. <laughs> I don't know, but perhaps it's very hard to travel there and my things might be very expensive, but either way, I would love to go there. From 31st of January 2024, so that will be today's date. A uh, number of nationals from South Korea who can apply for youth mobility scheme. These are each year increased from 1,000 to 5,000 and age with uh, limit will also go up from 18 to 30 to 18 uh, to 35. Okay, okay. Okay, great. So uh, there might be a limit for how long you can be here. <laughs> so, either way, either way. Uh, there was something uh, that I remember watching about how all countries stood still and uh, people were taking the exams, right? And uh, education and how important education can be in some of those countries, right? Which is a great thing, by the way. But let's, uh, either way, let's forget. South Korean nationals interested in applying for uh, youth mobility scheme visas will no longer need to register their interest in ballot and or uh, instead can apply off end time from first uh, from today that meeting eligibility criteria. Throughout the year, we have seen thousands of young people take 
advantage of yeah, youth model scheme to travel, work and explore UK, gaining a better understanding of the new culture and so social along the way, uh, culture and socially, uh, social norms perhaps mm, along the way. Speaking of the upcoming announcements of it, uh, British ambassador to South Korea, okay, there's a name there, perhaps worth reaching out to this person, let's put together a chat to this person, how we can work together. Uh, that would be. <laughs> I think this is the person I need to reach out to either way. Uh, and this is what he's just supposed to be responsible with. Usually, it would be no response. <laughs> but either way. So he made a statement. I, I don't know if it's worth to read, but he made a statement. Let's forget. Uh, head of the uh, region of uh, Asia Pacific. Okay, there's another person. So perhaps he made uh, some of the statements, right? So. It, those the people point of contact uh, would be interested in collaborating with some of those people how we can potentially solve uh, existing problems in the world uh, which would might be a great thing <laughs> we can leave everything as it is people will not need to respond to any of the emails they can leave things as they are <laughs> i have a meeting in the uh, roughly about 10 minutes but either way let's put together a quick letter right so i think i find the person but usually there will be no response Oh, that would be my personal experience when it comes to the challenge to some of those organizations and look into how we can potentially work together. No response. But either way, let's uh, try to do an example of how taxpayers can engage <laughs> with some of those uh, uh, embassies, right? Uh, in this particular case, so in South Korea, right? People might change, it doesn't matter. I'll try to engage. Usually, there would be no response, right? Just in case, right? Let's take a look at name of this embassy right so that would be a british embassy seoul right and uh, i think it's in the name right but i don't know how my mistake is something the british embassy in south korea maintains and develops relations between uk and the republic of korea republic of korea great so it's maintains and develops so how we can help this organization to achieve its goals, <laughs> that's it, that's it, it's all about you. To develop, great, to maintain, mm, perhaps we can take a look at that as well. If they need any help, we can help with that as well. Let's take a look at the example of the letter, that template that was given to me, right? So that would be another way of engaging with the embassies, right? And uh, it was given to me in some of the examples, right? Uh, that would be cultural exchange program. Okay, okay, as well as education partnerships would be great. A trade and investment promotion I would be very interested in this part, as well as diplomatic dialogue. It's, it's always good to start and or begin and develop that, as well as promotion of tourism. It's something that they, perhaps UK might be interested in doing since they have made some changes from 1000, they have moved into 5000 and increased the age from 30 to 35. So perhaps there might be some opportunities there. Great. How or myself or other business can engage with obviously Usually there would be no response. <laughs> myself, if you're interested in learning more, I have published a journal within the journal. I'm taking a look at the uh, routines and uh, how to structure or have a system when it comes to approaching every single team and better use and management of your time in order to accomplish massive uh, uh, goals or targets that you might be interested in setting by yourself. That would be just one of the examples of how to do it. That would be uh, approaching it uh, with the mind that you would need to stick to uh, the system from cover to cover. That would be 90 days. That should be enough time for people to develop a habit routine that would last potentially within every page would be 24 hour windows. And some of the tasks that would be important for many people to accomplish every single day in order to succeed and you have uh, set for yourself right and uh, that will cover everything i'll highly recommend to stick in with the system before making any changes and progressing from there you can find it got code in the corner company stuff side below I'll try to reach out to this organization as well, but most likely there would be no response as well. But I don't know, I don't know, perhaps it's just me trying to understand the process, right? But uh, there might be a private business, not necessarily I would expect for this organization to respond to me. I would expect perhaps for public figures to respond, but not necessarily private businesses. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you next one.